Oh man, it's a beautiful morning out here. Right off Plum Island in Massachusetts and uh, I'm here at my favorite rocks. And time to get set up and, and take some pictures. I really like shooting on mornings like this when it's stormy, there's a storm coming in, there's a lot of energy in the sea, the, the sky's just moody and dark, everything's moody. And, um, and, it's, and that's what I want to show with these photos too, is I want to show the feel and I want to show the look and the, and the mood and how I'm feeling about it. And hopefully as the tide comes in, we're going to be able to shoot these rocks uh, in the next, within the next hour. We might have to wait for it a little bit. And the tide starts moving around these rocks and uh, the water's moving, the sand's moving, the sky and the rocks are just sitting there. I love that. So I'm going to get set up and uh, we're going to get going. So when we're shooting out in the sand, a beach sand like this, really brutal on your equipment. I like to keep my tripod legs extended just a little bit at the bottom just to keep the sand off them. And um, I still end up having to take this tripod apart, like constantly cleaning it. It's just how it goes when you're shooting outside. So these are my favorite rocks right here, if there's such thing as favorite rocks. I've been shooting here all winter and I love how it looks when the tide comes up around these rocks. Tide's coming in, it's not there yet. So rather than sit here and wait, we're going to walk up the beach and uh, see what else we can find, come back. The tide's really going good right now, um, nice surf, nice, nice motion, so let's go see what else we can shoot and then we'll come back to these rocks and, and we'll shoot again. It's coming in pretty hot now. I should say pretty cold, it is March. But let's see if we can just grab something with these rocks. Love this look. Eighteen millimeter lens, one second exposure. Woo! Wet feet. Wait for it. Let that water move. Here we go. slide over and reposition this one rock. Okay, here we go. So I call this one of my home spots. And what I mean by that is, is uh, it's, it's a local spot that I can come to frequently and shoot. And you know, as photographers, we, uh, we love going to new places. We love to travel, Yosemite. First time you ever go to Yellowstone, it's amazing. Any place new, Glacier. You see pictures everywhere when you travel, but we can't always travel. And so, we, you know, but we do want to photograph and I want to photograph. So we find spots like this that we come to frequently and I've been here countless times in my life to shoot and um, it's a home spot and this winter I've been I've been coming here oh, at least weekly I don't know how many times I've come this winter to shoot and I love the variety that I get here I love how different it is the height of the tide the way the water is interacting with the rocks sometimes I'm here at sunrise the color is beautiful sometimes it's stormy and uh, and, and after you've been to your home spot enough times you really do, you develop a nice portfolio of images. And I think we also, as photographers, react differently when we shoot our, our home spot. You know, we, we go someplace new, like again, like say you go to the Grand Tetons and there's the shot. You know, you go to Moore Monroe and you shoot. And everybody's got that shot, which, you know, it's great. It's great to go there. But I think when you have a spot that you're familiar with and it becomes more intimate with you, you make a very different type of photo. And for me, these are much more personal. They have a different feel to them. So I mean, it's just a pile of rocks. 
and the ocean comes around them. But I've spent enough time here that uh, you see them a certain way, you feel a certain way about it. And as a photographer, it compels you to make a different type of image and tell a different type of story. It, and it doesn't mean one's better than the other. It's just, it's just exercising your creativity. It's just stretching your, your creative muscles. It's just stretching yourself as a photographer. And um, for me, I just, I just know that days when I photograph, I'm happier. I'm, I'm, I feel better. And I, I love the process of creativity. It's, it's what I do. It's who I am. And so having a place like this to come to is, is uh, significant to me. And plus, this is really an amazing, it's a magical place here. And um, so I'm, I'm babbling away because I'm waiting for the tide to come in just a little more, but it's getting close. And the, the, the tide's coming up to the tip of these rocks. And oh, well, let's just hope we get something here. So what I'm looking for in this shot is motion, is the motion of the water, the action of the water. Tides constantly moving in and out, in and out. And, and I want to show that motion. I want to show the look and the feel of the, the water just working its way around these rocks. So to do that, I'm using a two second shutter speed and I am stopped down to F16 with an ISO of 50 and I have a neutral density filter on here set at uh, four stops because it's actually surprisingly bright out here. And of course I'm on tripod. I'm focusing about one third of the way into the scene at F16 to get maximum depth of field. And my camera's set at a two second delay self timer. So basically I can just push the shutter, take my hands off, keep it steady. Let the camera do its thing. And, and one thing about shooting like this is because it's constantly changing, I just shoot a lot of pictures and, and see which one has the best result. Because the way that water's moving, it's never the same way twice. And it's basically painting. It's painting the scene. It's drawing lines, it's shapes, it's movement. And um, there's really no way to predict it. The only thing I can do is shoot. We're here to shoot. All right, so I think I have the camera where I want it. Just waiting for the water to come in really want a strong foreground element in this and a little bit of distance into the sky. So all I need now is the, is the water to do its work. I need the water to just come in, sweep around these rocks, paint my picture for me. That's, all, that's what I'm waiting for. And, and like I said, you just, sometimes you just have to, you have to wait. You have to wait for it to happen. I did a quick switch back to my 18 millimeter lens. really seemed like it was taking forever this, for this tide to get here, and now it's roaring in. And there's the wet feet. All right, here we go. Look at that water moving. I feel the sand moving under my feet. 